Ellis and three other men, Cadrian Spencer, Amos Curry, and DeVaris Rowe assaulted the victim. Ellis struck her several times with a wooden stool and sexually assaulted her. Spencer and Curry forced the victim to have oral sex, and two of the defendants raped her again. DeVaris Rowe threatened to kill her and her child. So he would give me gifts and cards and letters, and he would say, gosh, you, I know you're 11, but you're actually 18 in the way that you, that you behave. That's classic grooming. After learning about grooming, I was, first of all, really angry. Why had I never heard of this before? Why don't we all know about this? First of all, you have to pick the right child. Who do I think I could train? So I'm starting to wonder, do I want to report my offender or do I not? He bought me some fragrances. He gave me a ring. Lotions. Flowers. Money. Jewelry. And perfumes. Ice cream. Plane tickets. I was a con artist, and I was constantly putting thoughts in their head. I <laughs> smell this leftover. Please, Claire. Yeah, it's I just want to make sure it doesn't happen again to other people. Prince is charged with the first degree murders of 21 year old Tiffany Schultz, 21 year old Janine Weinhold, 18 year old Holly Torres, 42 year old Pamela Clark, and her 18 year old daughter Amber. Prince is also linked to a sixth unsolved murder, 38-year-old Elisa Keller. A gold nugget ring missing from her body is traced back to Prince. When he began his killing spree, Prince had no criminal record. He lived an ordinary life with his longtime girlfriend. This was a, a person that, you know, went to high school, uh, joined the Navy, um, and was able to have relationships, get friends, normal person in many respects. He didn't give off signals of being weird, being violent, or being strange. He was just very scary because he could blend in as being a normal person for so long. For months, this seemingly normal person satisfied violent sexual urges by stabbing his victims multiple times in a bizarre circular pattern. He then posed them and took jewels as trophies of his kills. It is the type of uh, sexual sickness or perversion that some people have just thrusting a knife into the breast area of a woman. Once that satisfaction is accomplished, next day they're Joe next door. He enjoyed it. He's a psychopath. 